Why, hello there. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to The Vault, where we cover unknown or forgotten movies. And I'm your host, Joshua Hinton. The movie we will be covering for the inaugural episode of the series is Lucky Number Slevin. Lucky Number Slevin is a thriller slash mystery released in 2006 and starring Joshua Hartnett, Lucy Liu, Morgan Freeman, Ben Kinsley, and Bruce Willis. The movie earns a 7.7 on IMDb and a 52% on Rotten Tomatoes. So without further ado, let's see what the movie is about and discuss the quality of the movie. So here's the plot of the movie. So here's the plot of the movie. Slevin Hartnett arrives in New York City where a case of mistaken identity where a case of mistaken identity lands him right in the middle of a gang war between the boss, Freeman, and the rabbi, Kinsley. With the help of his bubbly neighbor, Lou, Slevin tries to solve the problem all while trying to stay one step ahead of a hitman, Bruce Willis, who is pulling the strings behind the scenes. So is this movie a closer look to the IMBD score of 7.7, or is Rotten Tomatoes 52% right with their score? I will discuss what I disliked about the film, and then I will cover what I liked about the film, and I will give an overall grade for the movie at the end. So we will start with the dislikes, or what I thought the movie could improve on. Um, first, I think the movie had a bit of a rushed feeling to it. Like, <clears throat> like they tried to shove a three-hour movie into a two-hour time slot, which actually plays into my second point of what I disliked, which is there is a lack of character development that you get in longer movies. Um, and this is, again, because they tried to shove a three-hour movie into a two-hour time slot. Um, I don't... Now, some critics did th like the pace of the movie and thought it was good. Um, like Amber Wilkinson, in their review from iForFilmCO.uk from April 19th, 2008, it's the pace of the film that wins the day. Um, that's what she said in her review, and I will provide a link to the, her full review in the description below. Um, and maybe she's right. Maybe the, maybe the pace will, is great in your opinion. But let's shift over to what I liked about the movie and see where the movie excels. Um, first, I like the interactions between the characters. It is funny and quick-witted. Um, Slevin himself, Hartnett, is often chocked full of satire comments throughout and a lot of tongue-in-cheek humor. Um, and the movie doesn't seem to take itself too seriously, which also plays into my second point. It has sort of that classic noir feel to it and has a lot of nods towards that genre, but it's set in a modern age setting. Well, 2006 modern. Um, through the camera angles and the dialogue between the characters, it really just nods towards old noirs and gives you sort of that classic 50s and 60s feel to it. Um, other than that, not everyone will agree and liked those as much as I did. Um, this is a quote from Rex Reed of The Deserver. He's a top critic on Rotten Tomatoes. Everything in it, every confusing line, every confusion, every line of unspeakable dialogue... Every red herring and every camera setup has been borrowed from some movie you've seen before. This quote is under the critic, critics' reviews on the Rotten Tomatoes site from April 19th, 2006. Um, there will be a link for the Rotten Tomatoes site uh, provided in the description below. So just look under critic reviews if you want to see what he said. So, does this movie get a passing grade or should it be left in obscurity? I like the movie. Even my dislikes are a bit nitpicky, and I think some of the bad reviews on the movie miss the point of the movie. I think the IMDb, I think IMDb has the right score of 7.7. .7. I personally would give this movie an 8 out of 10 um, and would recommend watching it. I think it, is, I think it is a fun and easy watch and worth the time to check out. That is our show for the day. I hope everyone enjoyed, and if interested in watching the movie, it is on Tubi, Vudu, and Amazon Prime. 
This is Joshua Hinton for The Vault. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like or a comment. And for more film discussion, I will be back tomorrow for Bottom of the Barrel, where I and Cade Kennedy watch bad movies and grade them. Don't forget to give NWTV7 a follow on Twitch and YouTube for other great content. Have a good day, everyone, and stay frosty out there.